Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix an issue uh, when your App Store cannot connect on your iPhone 17. As you can see right here, my App Store cannot connect. And to fix that issue, uh, well, um, first of all, of course, you need to make sure you're connected to internet that has good signal. So let's go to settings, let's go to Wi-Fi, and now make sure that your Wi-Fi network is connected. I'm gonna connect to a different one because I have several ones, and I'm gonna connect to the one that has a better signal currently. Um, so uh, yeah, let's wait until it connects. It has problems connecting, but uh, for me it doesn't matter because the issue is somewhere else, so I know where the problems are here. Um, let's just go back. Okay. Yeah, actually I'm connected, so never mind. Um, <clears throat> okay, now the next thing uh, to do is to restart your iPhone, which is pressing and holding on power and either of the volume buttons. Then once you see this screen, slide it to power off, wait for half a minute, and after that, press and hold on the side button to turn the phone on. Uh, if it didn't help, then we'll need to go to, um, to the browser uh, to see if we can access any website at all. So let's try to go to Apple website. And now if this thing shows up, then we already know the issue. Uh, you should try going to, for example, apple.com because we know like the connection on apple.com is for sure private. Um, so, um, yeah, we know the issue and I'm going to solve it shortly. Uh, but if uh, instead of that, you had a problem like this. Uh, hold on, I need to also disconnect from my mobile data. Yeah, if you had a problem like this, then um, the issue may be somewhere else, but you can still follow all the steps of the video. But if you had a problem that I showed earlier, uh, this one, then the issue is in settings. In settings, then general, then uh, date and time, and you have set automatically. You need to either enable set automatically or actually set the date and time to the current one. So I'm just gonna set it automatically. And now you can see my App Store works. My browser works when I refresh. Everything basically works. Uh, but if it didn't help, then uh, most likely you should try going to settings and uh, going to general, then um, go to transfer reset iPhone, reset and reset all settings. But remember, this will erase your, um, not your data. Your data won't uh, disappear, but it'll remove your screen lock. It'll change uh, all the settings to default. So remember about that. The most important part is to set your screen lock again after doing so, after resetting uh, all settings and all the other things you'll probably notice that something's wrong and you'll need to just reset it up in the settings. So I'm gonna wait until it uh, resets and I'm gonna get back to you. Once it's done, let's um, go to the phone and um, I'm gonna set my screen lock later. Uh, also, make sure to restart your router. Maybe there's a problem with your router, so you may want to just restart it. And um, if you can connect to internet and for example the browser works but your um, place uh, app store doesn't work then you should try going to general software update and if there is any update available try installing it to fix the issues now um, the next thing to try is to simply um, to simply uh, do, um, to simply wait because there's not nothing more than you can do. Maybe the app store is down. So either using the same device or if you have a problem with it, then using a different device, you should try to go to the internet browser. Um, 
Hold on a second, I, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so... I'll need to reconnect. Okay, I'm, I know why I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, because it has forgotten all the Wi-Fi networks, because I reset the settings. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the, um, the browser and you should actually go to apple.com but not the standard apple.com but apple.com slash support slash system status like that and now it'll show you available services and current issue and it'll tell you if there's app store here that there is a current issue ongoing on the iPhone on the app store and um, you just may need to wait until it's sorted. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.